Well here I am with that BSA A65 engines bottom end again and um, I was all ready to fit the pistons. I've got the new rings on and I've checked their gaps and everything, everything's ready to go. But I thought I'd better put the uh, sump plate on the bottom of the crankcase first because uh, I'll be obviously oiling the pistons and the rings and the small ends and so on. So I thought I'd better get this on otherwise there'd be loads of oil coming out the bottom of the engine onto the bench and um, cleaned a few things up and I've noticed here now it's not the first time that I've seen a case of one of these or more uh, stud holes where the threads get stripped and repairs have to be made and someone has already been at this one and they've actually put a metric allen bolt they've tapped out the hole to accept a larger diameter thread and used a metric allen bolt which is all well and good Except if I put the Allen key in there, that'll sort of help help us see it and demonstrate it perhaps. Um, they haven't exactly drilled and tapped it dead straight. It's leaning downwards there. Excuse my camera work. So it's not straight in line um, as would have been the original stud. It's not at 90 degrees to the face. It's sort of on a skew if a bit. Now that's not the end of the world in itself because at least the threads that they've cut are good and the bolt screws into them quite nicely. But what happens, oops, there we are, oh that's actually a bit better. It comes to a stop there, it's bottoming out there and here is a sump plate so it's trying to fasten. And we can see we've got that washer on there. This, this is the hole so that bolt goes through and we can see that the bolt doesn't even bottom out on that um, it's bottomed out in the threads before it clamps the sump plate but also what they've done on top of that let's get this bolt out of here a moment hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate it they've actually they must have done this job in situ they must have drilled and tapped in situ because what they've done is they've also cut a thread of the same size into the hole in the sump cover plate so the bolt screws into that there's a perfect thread for it in there although naturally the bolt is leaning because they drilled and tapped it on the skew if but if you've got a thread in there and a thread in the component you're fastening the item to it's never going to clamp them even if even if the bolt was a little bit shorter it's not going to pull it tight to the joint face so what I'm going to do damage limitations here I'll probably cut a couple of threads off the bolt to shorten it so that it will pull that corner of the sump plate down tight onto the gasket face and I'll also run a file a round file through the threads that they've cut there so that the bolt can slip through the hole rather than screw into it and then at least we'll have half a chance I can't really do anything about the bolt being slightly tilted um, it's not great engineering that at all but uh, I'm sure I can far from make a silk purse out of a sow's ear I can improve the sow's ear enough to make it acceptable and at least we'll be able to clamp the sump plate on at four points tightly and not have any oil leaks so that's what I'm aiming for next and then once that's out of the way I'll get on with the top end rebuild but for now I'm going to cut that bolt shorter, I'm going to file out the threads there so the bolt passes through and then at least even though it'll go in on a slight angle, at least the bolt will screw and pull the face of the sump plate home on that corner. So that's my next job.